Hey, it's Bruce coming to you once again with another video on how to de-ice a dock to keep it from uh, being ice damaged. And you can learn more at lakedeicer.com. Today we're going to show you three different ways. Uh, the, the rope suspension, the universal dock mount, and the horizontal float mount. And what we're actually going to focus on in this particular video will be the rope suspension. If you're looking for the others, you're going to want to stop by our website to see more. So when you are attempting to use the rope suspension, what it is basically is our unit, or the motor, with uh, two ropes that are provided that allow you to just, what I call sling it, or you know, it's in a sling to just drop it down with two of the same length ropes to be able to cause the water to flow um, from the bottom of the lake underneath the dock and then outward. There's a few different ways to do it, and we're more than happy to walk you through this on the phone, but I'll just walk through some of the details here. Um, each of our de-icers comes with a 20-foot mooring rope for suspension below a dock, or you can connect it to a boat. Uh, these mooring ropes are included with the package, and they work extremely well in applications where a dock or boat is available to suspend the de-icer, and when the water is, what we recommend is at least four to five feet deep. The deeper the water, the more beneficial and the more efficient and more effective it's going to be. Now our de-icers come compatible for suspended operation from the dock or the boat either in a vertical or an angled position. By changing the widths of the or the lengths of the rope you can determine a different angle. Uh, the angled operation by suspend method or with an optional functional fo flotation unit which I discuss in another video produces an elongated pattern of agitated water. A vertical positioning, meaning that it's pointed straight up, produces a circular pattern. Vertical positioning of the de-icer works well under boats, docks, or between slips and boats. When you do adjust the angle uh, of, of the de-icer suspension, it's done by simply looping one rope back over the two ribs of the propeller cage. It'll make more sense when you actually see it in hand. And this angled operation can be used to de-ice shallower water areas where you're trying to blow, you know, at a, a more elongated area. This will direct the water flow from a deeper area into shallow air. Remember, a de-icer works because it draws warmer, this is the whole key, it draws warmer, denser water from the bottom and circulates it upwards to the surface, preventing ice from forming or melting the existing ice. It's often used in a way that this will become efficient, effective, so that you don't have uh, ice damage near the shore or the dock. So this was covering the rope suspension. Check out one of our other videos on the, uh, the dock mount, which is rigid um, and can be dropped all the way down if you do have that dock availability, or the flotation method. All these work great, but there's certain applications, and it's one motor that can be used in any one of those. So give us a call at 877-224-4899, or check us out at lakedeicer.com, and watch some of our other videos. Thanks, we've got them in stock, ready to ship out to you.